Oh, hey, look, we're actually at the peak. Or close enough to the peak. <laughs> I love Lou's just getting mad. I want to run right on by this. Don't stop. Clearly, it will be bad for your health. And... I want to see if I can't... Hmm. We do want to try and take a picture of Blue here. We'll do it there, where he's super mad. Oh, good. Apparently, you get a little rating that tells you if the picture's good enough for a thing. See how it says up in the top left? Good! So, that's nice. Also, I think it's funny to... Ah, oh, I missed it. Ah, uh, it's been funny to get angry faces. <laughs> Just a Valu getting pissed and pounding the ground, Link like... Argh! Oh, well. We have these guys, and really, their shields look like Deku shields to me. Anyway, they're not really too difficult. And they actually cheese them out the way you did the other guys. Stay between them, spin slash. I'm not sure their shields even do anything. They may just be cosmetic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they got their weapons back. Let's get this guy in front. Really? I did press the A button there. There we go. Took your friend out, and it's your turn. And I'm just going to go ahead and... Have the game not let me move things. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and use this potion now. I have a good reason. After we kill those guys, they bring in another enemy. The Moblin! Remember these guys in Forsaken Fortress? Well, now we can actually fight them. Let's get that joy pendant. Oh, and if you missed it... Um, Medley is totally in the prison there. Now, these guys can kind of be jackasses. The best way to fight them is to probably wait for them to attack and either do a combo or use the parry attack. Alternatively, uh, those Bokoblins left their swords behind somewhere around here, and you could pick them up and throw them at the guy from long range. Which, oh, there they are. Which was always fun. I think we traded hits there. Yeah, we did. Damn it. Well, that's kind of why I drank the potion, because I didn't want to die, and he does a whole herd of damage every time he hits you. Uh, have these things shown up yet? I don't think they have. So I'll go ahead and explain. It will change colors. You want to hit it during one of the colors for whatever you want. Green is money. Yellow is kind of everything. You get their treasure item as well. And red usually gets you a lot of hearts. Obviously that won't happen because I'm playing hero mode, so I can't get money, or, yeah, money. Can't get health that way. So I'm almost always going to want to hit them when they're yellow. Because, obviously I got a lot of money, and I got his treasure item. So, yeah, you got captured. <laughs> That's kind of why I came along. Because, they're... You need weapons to take care of this kind of stuff. So, there's something in there playing the prank on them, and it's really pissing him off? <laughs> when you think about it, it kind of sounds like someone's just tickling his tail underneath him, and he's like, ah, QUIT IT! <laughs> yeah, don't ask why I decided to make angry blue noises. I'm slap happy, it's like 10 in the morning. <laughs> Well, for saving Medley, she gives us a really nice transportation item for anyone without wings. The grappling hook that we were alluded to back on the ocean. So, this is going to be awesome. And as you, you uh, saw us say, we can haul things up when we're on the ocean, and we can use it to get around. This is probably my favorite item in the game. It's also one of the most useful, and I'm really glad they gave it to us early. 
Oh, we can also use the Moblin Spear, which is kind of cool because look at a huge radius for swinging. Really, look at this. We can fill up the whole, well, almost the entire arena we were fighting in. Just destroy these pods. Actually, I kind of thought I'd get all of those with that sling. Oh well. And like every other item Link gets, he just chucks it like it's nothing. So then, we can move on by doing this. And I like putting these uh, items that you move around with the stick on my R button because it's much easier to, you know, use your thumb on the right stick and then your index finger on the R button as opposed to trying to use a button, you know, extra Y in tandem with the stick. Anyway, with our picture of Valu and um, the grappling hook, we can move on and start actually descending around the outside of this place. Because, well, we can get new things now. See new areas. Try and not die. Actually, I take that all back. I'm going back because I just remembered something that I want. That was in the room we were just in. And I want to get it now before um, bad things happen to me. Sorry about that. Slipped my mind until, um, well, now. Because I already used my blue potion. And I want to fill my bottle with something else that will give me health. Something arguably better in my current position. Let's just swing on over here. Ignore that guy. He's a jerk. And let's go and put this on. Why? We get fairies. Well, I guess I need the health anyway. Fairy and bottle. Fairy goes... Oh my god, damn it! Fuck you two, game. I really want one of those in my bottle. Because obviously it's a fairy. It will revive me should I die. <sighs> Let's just open up these treasure chests because they have nice things in them like knight's crests and money. Knight's Crest, which is yet another spoil item that we'll want to be collecting a lot of. And then let's get the hell out of here. I'm not moving on until I get a fairy. In fact, I'm going to walk outside, come back, and hope the fairies have respawned. So I'll just do this until I get one. There we go. Oh, look at Homer. He's a big blubbering vagina that doesn't want to continue without a fairy. Well, you know what? <laughs> it's worth it. Can we... Yeah, there we go. Something else I should do, since these guys don't really appear very... much. There we go. It's like, why can't I look down? I had the wrong item. Nope. It's no good. At least I think. I'm going to assume it was no good because I didn't have that guy's seal on it. Oh. What? what are you doing? No. I hate these guys so much. You can get pictures of enemies and have figurines made of them the same way you do with uh, the people types. Like, you know, earlier I got that picture of Medley and I took that one of Alu. We're going to be needing those for a side quest later on that's wholly pointless, as I recall. But it's a fun thing to do. And since I said I'm going to do everything, I'm going to do everything. Now let's just put something on Y so I don't accidentally use my fairy. That would be devastating and I would kill myself in real life if I did that. Angry enough that I didn't get one the first try. That was so dumb. Uh, now we can finally get on down out of here. And after this dungeon, I feel like hero mode's gonna become a cakewalk. Because, well, obviously we're gonna get a heart out of this, and I've got bottles so I can fill them with 
health restoring items and you know at that point it's really not that hard to stay alive <laughs> oh that was awesome I could have let that I could have helped that guy to his death wow <laughs> you guys are fucking idiots did he just kill his friend no there we go with the grappling hook, we can now pilfer items from the enemies. Their uh, specific things. I think he is trying to kill his friend. Like, he kept attacking the other uh, Bokoblin. That was awesome! So, no longer is it random luck and chance if you'll actually get the cool item from enemies you want. Just steal it right from them with the grappling hook. Wait for this to turn yellow. Now, doing so, I think, makes it so those orbs no longer have their items in them. But that's okay. Now, you may be wondering, what's going on? What's the point of this room? We came in here to kill two guys, and that's it. Well, if you move the camera around, you can see underneath us, there's a land bridge. Completely, perfectly parallel to the actual bridge. You can either cut these ropes, or you can light them on fire. Doing so will cause the bridge to lose stability, and then as you walk across it, it'll break. I'm not sure if you... well, goodbye stick. I'm not sure if you need to do any specific amount of jostling to get that to happen, or uh, what. But it happened then when I was trying to throw the stick, so... There you have it. We want to move right along into here, where if you didn't know that you could cut ropes with your sword, you better learn fast. We need to cut all three of these ropes at once, and we want to do it when uh, the fire's not happening, which apparently it's going to now, yeah. You don't want to do it when this is happening because you're rocking around, and there's a good chance... Jesus, Link! <laughs> Look at his face! That's the best face ever! Anyway, because you're jostling around, there's a good chance that, um... Whoa! You'll only cut some of the ropes, which will, you know, really offset the balance of this thing, and you'll fall off into the lava and take some damage. Or die. So, don't do that. Just wait until the fire's not flowing underneath it and, you know, pushing you up. And then clearly we can use that as an elevator, as we've been doing with different things so on throughout this whole dungeon. Now, we're back in that big room, if you didn't notice before, and with the grappling hook we can actually interact with this crane thing. Unfortunately, there are keys around and keys are assholes. Okay, good. Got away. Ah, uh, screw it. I don't care. Run. Good news is, I finally have a ranged attack. The grappling hook will kill the keys. So, that's nice. Bad news is, there's still keys. They're still flying. They're still annoying. And you can't defend yourself when using the grappling hook either. So, just like with the other ropes that we've been climbing on throughout the game, we can stop swinging on them and uh, redirect ourselves, so that's really good. And we just do that and, you know, make our way all across the room. And we get to this kind of a big, ominous room of not really a lot happening. There's a switch, and there's a chest covered in fire. Step on the switch, the fire goes away. That's a pretty standard Zelda mechanic. It's also a pretty standard Zelda mechanic that the fire comes back when you get off of the switch, if the switch is, you know, one of the ones you need to lay something on. Can I please hit the guys? I keep swinging, like, too short. No, screw you. You take damage. Now, you do not want to kill this guy. All the other ones I've come across, I've, you know, done that special attack to kill them. You don't want to do that. Hit him a couple times, he'll curl up, and then you can use him as a weight. Which is actually pretty inventive. 
I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people got stuck on that puzzle for a while. I may have when I first played the game. I don't know. It's been a really, really long time since then. <laughs> 